and the vegan. I make a smoothie today with three ingredients only, my favorite number right now. I explore the number three in cooking and I guess it reflects from very high to very low. But is there high and low really? I don't think so, because probably the highest comes from the lowest too. Who knows? Depends on how we would look at it, I guess. So enough of philosophy now. <laughs> Just gets back to the trinity of ingredients I want to use today. And I really want to do something, make something with figs. And I have these wonderful figs here. Uh, they are amazing. At my health food shop, they were dried, and I have soaked them in filtered water overnight. You see, these are so yummy. You can eat them like that. And the water here, the soaking water, is so delicious. I will never put it away. I will drink it, of course. It's so sweet and tastes like fig. When I dry any fruit, I dry uh, I, any dried fruit. I soak makes such a delicious water. But nuts is different. A walnuts, for example, that is bitter. But these just dried fruit, ah, oh, amazing. Together with the fig, I wonder what can I do. And I thought immediately about green tea. Yes, figs and green tea. I don't know why. It came to my mind, just green, something green in the figs. Green tea, yeah, tea. Something like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have green tea here. A powder tea, matcha tea. That's a very special green tea. It's from Japan. And it's very ancient culture. They, they grow these tea plants in the shell. They have a tent over the tea leaves. And the sun, the sun has not direct influence on these. And then they, then they, um, then they are grinded with the old stones. And it takes a lot of time um, to, do work, to do that work. So that, that tea is a powder. It's a whole leaf of the tea. And it, has not been, it shouldn't be too hot. You shouldn't cook it. And today I will just put it into a smoothie. So there is almost no heat at all. So it remains as it should. And together with the figs and the matcha leaves, the powder, I will just take some bananas. Well, that is something um, I really like, always. Banana. Ayurvedic people say it's the healthiest food you can eat. There's nothing healthier than that. And so I always like have bananas at home. I love bananas super healthy and the fruit sugar we can't really eat enough of it or too much of it enough we can eat but not too much it's super healthy and it's brain food so i put from my figs i put not all of them i will use some one two three yeah maybe five four five that's half and a little bit of the water in the fig a little bit just a little bit to begin i don't know maybe i will need some more and I take the matcha, that, has, that is um, maybe a tablespoonful of matcha tea. Yeah. It's very precious. There are different grades. Some are very expensive, and it's always expensive matcha tea. But it's very, very, very um, becoming. And the monks, the Japanese monks, they develop these, this tea to be able to meditate for eight hours or something like that, or six hour, eight hour, I don't know. So they meditate a long time with this tea inside. They have tea ceremonies, you know, all the great things they have to do. They do in the old ancient culture, the Japanese culture, very refined. We don't have anything like that almost, no, done it. <clears throat> so let's see what happens now with my smoothie. So I have this um, smaller blender, it's perfectly nice for smoothies and the ingredients are not too firm, but I think I have to put some more water in 
when I was looking at the blender all the time because I didn't want to make some, make a mistake with that smoothie uh, with that with that blender that machine. Mm. Oh yeah, oh figs and matcha tea. I tell you, oh I was so right, but I need I need, need some more water, or well I try with the fig water. I have a sieve here, cleanser, put the water here from the figs all into the smoothie. Will be nice, sweet. Let's see if that is enough. It's still a little bit thick, but smoothies are allowed. Depends on what I like today. It's still a little bit thick for my flavor. My flavor, I, I, I taste it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I add some water. I like to make it. Of course, adding water also dilutes the flavor a bit. And it's a very strong flavor. So, water is okay here. have a lot of texture, fiber too. Yeah, that's better. It begins to get, get my texture. Yeah, yeah, much, much better. Let's see the flavor. Yeah, right on. I tell you, you have to try combination of the green tea powder and the figs. It's amazing. I don't know what it is now, but what it is yet. I have to find out. I'm so curious. But the flavor is great, I know for sure. Let me look. Now this is kind of thickness. If you desire a little bit more runniness, put some more water, very easy. Delicious. Delicious and super healthy. Matcha tea has many health benefits too. And yeah, you can try and read about matcha. It's wonderful, it's worthwhile. Once in a while it takes up. Yeah, maybe you find a pleasure, enjoyment in matcha tea too. But the combination is really amazing. Yeah. Enjoy MD Vegan. Subscribe MD Vegan on YouTube. And have another recipe every single day.